Hey friends, Ash here with Jensense, and this is gonna be a different kind of video. Yeah, wearing the same shirt, so I filmed two videos in one day, you got me. This is one that I wasn't actually planning on doing, but it's a video that I've planned on doing for a long time, which probably doesn't make sense to you, but this is an idea that I've had for a video for a really, really long time. I just didn't plan on doing it today. I just decided to. Basically, I was talking to Manny from Cascade Sense. Uh, a lot of you guys know him, he's a good friend of mine. And I had told him that I had an idea of scenting songs. And he said that he had done something similar in the past, showed me the video, and I decided, I'll just go ahead and shoot it now. So that's what I'm doing, I'm scenting songs. If that makes any sense, it probably doesn't. It's just something I wanted to do for fun. So what I have right here is my old vinyl record bag, which I'll lift up and show you guys in just a second. It's really heavy. Back when I was younger, I used to DJ and I did it with vinyl. Eventually I switched to CDJs, which is what pretty much everybody uses nowadays, but I still have my vinyl collection. It's mainly older trance at this point, a little bit of house, but mainly trance. A few of you out there I know listen to trance and house and dance music and stuff like that. Others of you out there are gonna be like, I have no clue what any of these songs are. But we'll just roll with it for now. So yeah, I used to DJ with vinyl. This record bag I have not unloaded in over 10 years at this point. I have forgotten what vinyl I have in here. This isn't my entire vinyl collection. I have a lot more, but this was what I had loaded up the last time that I used it to play vinyl. So here it is. It's pretty big, it's pretty dusty. It's moved around a lot of different places with me as I've moved from place to place. And there's a lot of vinyl in there. That bag actually smells like a zoologist fragrance. My bag smells like zoologist bat. So I'm not sure how many different songs I'm gonna do. I'm kind of just winging it. So I'm just gonna blindly pick one of these albums out, see what it is, and we'll go from there. Okay. <laughs> All right. What's so funny about this is I literally, just in the conversation with Manny, brought this song up and I picked it out. Agnelli and Nelson, Everyday 2002 Remixes. And yeah, I had the general beats per minute up there in the corner so I could quickly flick through and find ones that were in line with where I wanted the song to be. Okay, so we've got the Alex Gold vocal remix and the Agnelli and Nelson 2002 remix. I'm not even sure if this song is in Spotify, but I'm gonna try to pull it up at least so I can hear it a little bit. So if you wanna to listen to that song, you can listen to it. Uh, this is pretty old. Uh, this song, actually Agnelli and Nelson, the Alex Gold mix was played on uh, a State of Trance number 35, which is Armin Van Buren's weekly radio show. Most of you probably have no clue what that is. So yeah, okay. I have to scent every day 2002. So this is an uplifting kind of melodic trance song. Uh, it's a happy kind of song. It's got a lot of movement in it. So I'm gonna go for something fresh, bright, and uplifting. Let me go find a fragrance that matches that and I'll be right back. I've got it and I think this one is pretty good. Abercrombie and Fitch, Fierce. Fierce came out in 2002, the same year that remix was released. And this was huge in 2002. I mean, Fierce is still huge. But especially when it first came out, you could not go into a mall without smelling this fragrance extremely strongly. You came anywhere near Abercrombie and Fitch, you were gonna smell that. And honestly, most of the people that were wearing fragrances around that time in the mall were wearing this. It was enormous, fragrance-wise. This song was really big in 2002, big trance classic, and uh, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce going with this one. All right, let's pick another one. All right, I have not heard this in a long freaking time. Matt Derry, voice of an angel. Don't make fun of me. This was a big song. Oh, all right. Yeah, I have not heard this in a long time. I remember the vocal build in the song, but let me look it up and give it a play. 
It is not in Spotify, so let's go to YouTube. So, this one I did not play as much as uh, the last one. Wow, tester strips flying everywhere. I did not play Voice of an Angel as much live as I did every day. Every day was a bigger song. Uh, I do remember this one, especially listening to it just now. Uh, let me give some thought to this. This is kind of one of those floatier trance songs to me. It's another melodic trance song. Not quite as uplifting, cheerful as the last one though. And yeah, I know if I wanted to, I could go cheesy and pick Amen, right? Angel men, voice of an angel, bleh. And I'm back. I'm just kind of going with my first instinct here. Uh, like I said, this isn't really set up, so I'm, I'm just going off instinct. I'm gonna go with this one, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mans. This still is a huge fragrance, but it was even huger back when I used to DJ in clubs and play vinyl and everything. It wasn't quite as worn out back then, so I smelled a lot of this fragrance. And for whatever reason, uh, that just kind of matched up for me. I don't know if maybe it's because of a similar coloration. This does look a little bit darker on the camera there, but it's a little bit similar. But that's what came to my mind. Let's grab another one. Uh, something good, something good, come on. Oh, uh, kind of pulled out two. I guess I'll pick, oh no, I pulled out three. All right, I'll pick one of these. I've got Simon Patterson, Panic Attack. I have Gladiator, Now We Are Free. <laughs> Judge Jules tried and tested. That's how you know this is old. And then Galen Bear, time will tell. But I think we'll go with Simon Patterson on here because it gives me kind of a different vibe than these last two. So that means we're going with this one, Simon Patterson Panic Attack, 139. That's, that's up there as far as trans BPM goes. All right, let's figure out a song for this one. I love how I'm picking out a lot of random ones that nobody has ever heard. Let's find a panic attack fragrance. So I've got the fragrance. Uh, it's not something that I think would give you a panic attack, but it is more aggressive than the last two fragrances. And this is one that you could find pretty easily back when that song came out, which was 2007. Uh, this fragrance. M7 by Yves Saint Laurent, the first major Western fragrance to feature oud as a note. I love this fragrance and this is a good time to get it into a video, so M7. I'm gonna go for two more songs, that way it's five overall. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> all right. I don't know how this ha keeps happening. I mean, there are over a hundred vinyl records in here, but um, okay. John O'Callaghan, Big Sky. This was an enormous, enormous trance song. And the reason I say I don't know how this keeps happening is this is the other song that I was talking to Manny about. So somehow I've pulled both of those out of over 100 vinyl records in this bag, but whatever. John O'Callaghan, Big Sky. And this has both the Agnelli and Nelson remix and the original mix. Okay, Woo. this song is one that I used to play a bunch. So this is a song that I'm really, really familiar with. So for this one, I think I've got a pretty good choice. It's a fragrance that came out in 2007, which is when this song was released, 2007. Amouage Reflection Man, because that's what lots of people did back in the day, listening to this one, lots of reflection. It was a huge trance hit, uh, one of those songs that just lit up the entire dance floor. When it got to the big sweeping vocal chorus, uh, people just lost it. So Reflection Man, gonna be my choice for that one. And Reflection Man also has that kind of uplifting spirit. Maybe not as much as some other fragrances, but it's still there. All right, last one, let's hope for a big one. Or at least a big one uh, over a decade ago. So it, it was a big one. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, snap. It is above and beyond. Yes, above and beyond. Good for me. Another 2007 release. I've got a lot of 2007s in here because that was probably the last time I'd pack this bag up. I have said on this channel before, Above and Beyond is my favorite group of all time. My favorite musical artist. I love Above and Beyond, always have. This one is an 
Easy, easy choice for me. Came out in 2007, good for me. Uh, the song is, is relaxing. Uh, another uplifting song that's a common theme in trance music, especially back then. And this one, Gucci Purome 2. It even kind of matches color-wise. Yeah, Gucci Purom 2, fantastic comforting uh, tea fragrance that I've actually talked about in my last video. So that's gonna be an, an easy pick for me. I just wanna do one more. I know it's technically six, but I don't care. I'm gonna pull out just like three or four and pick from there. Oh my God. <laughs> I guess it's gotta be that one. So I pulled out Oliver Moldan's second session, Paul Van Dyke, Time of Our Lives, and Connected. And I've gotta tell you guys, I know this is not fragrance related. Uh, Paul Van Dyke, also one of my absolute favorites, going way, 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 way back. And uh, Connected is the reason I bought this, this vinyl. I love that song. But this has gotta be the last one, and it's a fitting one to end on. Tiesto, Adagio for Strings. This is uh, released in 2005. This is when Tiesto was on top of the world trance-wise before he completely sold out. And Adagio for strings was enormous. Kind of falling into that whole fragrances that came out in the same year thing, but I think this one works pretty well. Paco Rabanne, Black Excess. This was a big club fragrance when it came out, and Adagio for Strings was an enormous club song when it came out, so they kind of go hand in hand. This one is most well known for its praline note, so that's gonna give it a good amount of sweetness. There's also lemon in there and cinnamon, lending a bit of spice. This fragrance is still out, but it has a different bottle now. It's gone from this bottle design to the newer, uh, more squat bottle design. This fragrance never really gets talked about now, kind of like Tiesto and Trance, don't get talked about now. Tiesto is more of a whatever's popular guy. So I'm gonna go with that one. Black Excess with Tiesto, Adagio for Strings, wrapping this one up. I know this video was out of the ordinary, but it was fun to do. I got to dig out some old vinyls that I forgot that I owned, and there are so many more still left in this bag, and then many, many more that I have stored in that room over there that you don't see. So maybe I'll bust out some more records in the future and we can do this again because I like doing it. And of course, I could always switch it up and go with songs that more of you will probably recognize. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, hopefully you found this at least remotely entertaining and I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.